week. Everybody I talked to is depressed. It's not just me. I thought it was me. I cried twice last week. I'm not a crybaby. I'm not the type, I swear. But nothing's wrong with you. Everybody's got... God, and I just had this horrible thought. I always have new regrets and terrors, so uh, welcome to my world. This one was just... I don't know how I started thinking about it, but I just started remembering this trip to Japan I took uh, for work. Um, and I remember there was some girl that I met up with, but I, I can't remember how, like, I, you know, we were texting, this is before smartphones, I don't know, somehow on the internet, I guess I met her, I don't know, uh, but, and that's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm upset about, why didn't I keep a diary, why haven't I kept a diary every day of my life, because if you don't, you know, even just a few sentences, oh, I met this girl, I did this today, I could go back and go, oh yeah, and it would spark all these memories, but now I'll never remember, I'll never remember what I did each day or whatever, and it's all gone. Like, obviously, I'm making up for that now by recording every day, but I'm also not typing it out, so there's not going to be a little book of my diary. I'm never going to go back and watch hours and days and years of these stupid videos. Why didn't I... Good morning. Um, not a good start to the day so far, but I'm, I'm calming down a bit. I woke up and uh, I filmed 15-minute dream summary, and it was just me, just pure terror, just wishing I'd kept a diary all my life, um, I don't know, just wish, hope, and then, oh yeah, terrified that the pandemic's gonna end, and then I'm gonna be, like, just completely alone, and everybody's off living their work lives again, and I, I you know, because I, right now, I just feel like it's cozy, like, you know, everybody's sort of trapped at home, so I'm trapped at home too, so it's okay that we're, you know, online talking, anyways, I'll post that. And then also, I didn't uh, press download fast enough for, like, the day's diary, um, yesterday's story, because it ends, uh, like, it started at, like, 11 a.m., and, and I post I downloaded after, so I don't have the complete thing. So I started downloading, like, uh, I don't know, the, the four segments at the beginning of yesterday's thing, so then I can add it, or I don't know, I was trying to... And then I downloaded the last segments of yesterday. And so I think what I'm going to do is Instagram lets you go into your archives and just download a whole day. And so that's from midnight to midnight. And it's not going to be quite accurate because, like, yesterday I sort of went over at night and then um, again over last night. But it doesn't matter. Like, if I'm just posting it on YouTube later, just download the day. And then people will see, okay, I was still up past midnight. And then and then the little thing with my day banner at the thing begins it does so that's fine I, I i don't want to have to go and start trying to paste this together in youtube and also if you paste it together in youtube it's not quite as long it cuts off the top like if you're doing vertical video and it's like that's going to look like crap so yeah okay so i've got my solution for it that's fine so i've, I've i can calm down about that uh maybe i'll go for a jog now i won't go into all of this again because i recorded it in my morning summary so you can watch that when i post it but it, the gist is that I'm afraid to go for a run in this beautiful weather because uh, I'll see everybody skating on the canal and I'll it'll just make me sad to feel like, oh my God, you know, how many winters do I have left and I don't have a family to skate with and that's all depressing. Uh, but hopefully I'll see Giannis, my boss, this afternoon. Maybe we'll, you know, meet up and talk about work and stuff. And I've got so much homework to do. And oh, I've got to send some more names for that company. I've got to do a voice gig. So there's stuff to do. I can't sit here just complaining. <sighs> Oh my god, I just wish I had a friend to wake up to or something. Like, I guess if you wake up to a wife and kids, it's like, that's your world. And I saw that. I saw a little clip of uh, um, Kevin Hart saying that to Joe Rogan. He was saying, I've got this bubble around me. I've got My daughter loves me. She says I'm her best friend, so I've got that. doesn't matter what happens in the outside world. That's my bubble. I don't have a bubble. I don't have a bubble. I need a bubble. This is a Purim event, and I'm trying to learn Broadway dancing. Oh, boy. Okay, so for two hours, I did a random Broadway workout that was part of a Purim party uh, that I just saw on Facebook and forgot about. And so I figured, well, I got to join. They gave me a free ticket. That was nice. Um, and now, I, I mean, I haven't been outside today, and it's beautiful. I should go for a walk or a jog, just to get some fresh air. But I have to do that voice acting gig. And I figure I should do it. My parents aren't here, so I should do it while I can turn off the fan so there's no noise. So let's see if I can bash that out in half an hour and then get out while there's still a bit of daylight. Uh, 
Life gets away from you. I don't like that. Okay, I recorded the Nike voiceover in about half an hour. Um, and then the hot water started going on after my parents came home, but I don't think the noise affected it too much. And then I was, oh, I gotta charge my phone to go out, but then Kathleen called, so I talked to her on the phone for a bit. And now my parents, my dad just texted that, oh, we're having some crudite upstairs, so I guess I should go eat. I still haven't gone for a walk. There's, like, not much sunlight. Oh, it's not a good idea to not go out. I gotta start doing, you know, have a schedule where I get up every morning and then go for a run first thing in the morning, and then it's done. Hey, that that's a song. I need to get a guitar so I can play that. Okay, crap. Now what do I do? Um, what happened was I had my jacket on. I'm like, I'm going to go for a walk. And my dad texts that we're having some crudite upstairs. So I went upstairs and I sat down. I ate with them. And my mom was like, oh, such an honor to have you join us. So it was nice. I guess I haven't eaten with them for a few days. And then I was like, all right, now I'm ready to go for my walk. But then I saw in my email or something that there was... No, what happened? No, I talked to Kathleen before, right? Um, and then... Uh, cause she called to see how I was doing. I was like, I was about to go for a walk. I should have talked to her on the phone while I was walking. Anyways, and then I saw there's speed dating at 7.30. It's like Jewish North American speed dating, and I missed a Toronto one on Friday. I'm like, maybe I'll meet the love of my life. So I'm like, all right, I bought a ticket of that. So that went from like 7.30 to 8.30. And then I was like, oh, right, I got to watch the Actor Awards, because that's the Actors... Um, Canadian Actors Union award show that I was at in person last year, and I loved it every year. In fact, I'm not married, and I don't have a kid now because of it. I'll tell you why. Something like, I don't know, seven years ago or something. I think my friend Christine, maybe it was her, she said she knew a woman who worked for, like, the UN, who was in Toronto or visiting Toronto, and uh, and we should meet up. And I remember we went for dinner. I, I seem to remember walking around Chinatown with her, and we really connected. Like, there was chemistry, we loved talking, it was awesome. And she said... Uh, and she went back to Ottawa, and she's like, hey, next weekend, like, come up, and uh, I'll book a spa day for us, and we'll go to the spa and everything. I was like, oh, my God, this is perfect. A Jewish, a beautiful Jewish girl wants to spend time with me. We'll go to a spa. <clears throat> but that weekend, it was the Actor Awards, and I'm like, I always look forward to this. It's like, I feel so cool as an actor at this thing, and I get to network and meet with all my friends, and I'm like, I can't do it. I got to go to Actor next weekend. She's like, oh. And that was it. I don't... I think it just faded away. I don't think she wanted to do something the following weekend. I think she just felt like, oh, I wasn't interested or whatever. And now she's married and has a kid and with some other guy. And she's a stepmom. She also happens to be friends with uh, my friend Charles from the computer store. We somehow figured out that we both know each other. And, uh, or, you know, I don't know, Charles is like, you know, my friend, th this girl or whatever. And then, yeah, and, and I'm, I mentioned to Charles, yeah, I went out with her once. And he's like, oh, why, why'd you screw that up? She's great. You, I'm like, yeah, it could have been me married to her and we could have all been hanging out. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, Pff. so last year I was at the Acker Awards at this time walking around. And actually just before that, I was at this conference. I was staying at the uh, like a Super 8 or something hotel at, uh, and, and then would walk over to the conference during the day. And I made this 24 hour movie that I still haven't posted. And I went to the award show. And so then tonight they were just live streaming sort of a video with the announcements of the winners on YouTube. And so I joined the chat for a bit. So then it was like nine o'clock. And then what I've been doing, I've just been staring at my email going, oh no. And then there was a couple, there was just one live speed dating on this other app, The League. And uh, yeah, so now it's like, so now I've been, it was like nine o'clock and I was like, do I just go to bed now? Or do I check the homework for this course that I still haven't done for like two weeks? And I'm like, I should do it now. I feel like maybe I'll open the site and just look at what this homework is so I can sort of ruminate on it while I sleep uh, cause I, uh, but then I was like if I just go to bed at 9 then you know for once because I've been talking about this for a year like maybe I'll get up early I'll be refreshed for once and can have coffee with my parents and then just get to work because you know you need the sleep no matter what right because I don't want to get up in the morning anymore sort of wake up at 7 and go oh I'm in a panic and then try to sleep for two more hours like it's just I can't I don't want to wake up in a panic I, I, when I lie in bed and, and panic I just want to be able to oh I, I got up enough sleep I got enough sleep and I just get up and I start go for a jog or something I have to get out of my head I can't live in that terror place anymore um, so yeah so I guess I should have gone to bed half an hour ago and now I'm like do I open that site or do I just get into bed right now and just get up at 6 in the morning and do it I don't know what do I do Well, 
I screwed up. Didn't go to bed at nine when that YouTube thing ended. I guess we've already talked about this. So here's what happened. I'm like, do I go to bed at nine? No, I didn't. Do I go to bed at 10? I'm like, mm, I don't know. I mean, I should, maybe I should go through that website. So I've done neither. I didn't go to bed on time, but I also didn't open the website. I've just been looking at YouTube or brushing my teeth or something. So now I'm going to be tired again and I get nothing done and I'm screwed. And life is going to be awful. Well, it already is. It's going to continue to be awful. It's going to get steadily worse. Uh, okay, but this is not... No, wait. I'm supposed to be positive. Kathleen called me today, and she said she had advice. She's like, whenever you you, have, you think your mind is spinning and you're thinking negative thoughts, just go, no. And she says, it's a legit kind of therapy. You just tell yourself, no. And she said her daughter heard about it, too. So, okay. No. No, Josh. Bad negative. Think positive. Yeah, Kathleen said she thinks positive things, but here's the problem. I'm like, well, like, what do you think about it? She's like, oh, I pictured myself at the beach. And I'm like, okay. She's like, do you like the beach? I'm like, I like the beach, I guess. But I don't want to be at the beach alone. I don't want to get sunburned. I'm like, I, I don't know what to think positive. Like, the only things positive I can think of are things that would have been, like, 30 years ago. Although I looked up, I was looking at James Bond pictures today. And, and then I looked up ages and stuff of how old the actors were. And Pierce Brosnan in his last one was 49. I'm like, okay, so I could still be James Bond next year. Like, if we start shooting right now. Um... Who else? I don't know. I mean, um, Roger Moore was James Bond from age 45 to 57. So, like, if I had started three years ago... But it didn't occur to me, why didn't three years ago I become James Bond? There's probably some other reasons that I'm, I'm not James Bond, other than just my age. Um, I don't think being positive comes naturally to me. I think my Instagram's just going to be basically me having a mental implosion every day. I hope you enjoy it. Oh. Uh, well, here, one thing, I was just looking at a, there's a Instagram about weird science, that movie, and I'm like, oh my god, that's still my ultimate, can you imagine creating a woman and then, like, having her take you to parties and stuff? <sighs> Anyways, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so, today, had a little exchange with uh, Mark Zuckerberg's sister again, so, that's cool, I told her about my mom, and how she's, like, all you know, has, feels good about her running and, and thinks that even if she doesn't win, she's, like, still ahead of everybody who didn't enter at all. So I told Randy this about, because she's feeling bad about not doing well at her first time golfing. And then I also got a reply from Elon Musk's mom, who gave me a uh, a link to get a nutritionist. So that's, like, you know, I specialize in meeting the uh, the relatives of extremely famous people, but that's cool. Maybe one day my relatives will be the relatives of extremely famous me. What am I still doing up? Oh, I just remembered something I was doing. I was scrolling through that, the course, the Made to Do This course Facebook, and I just started answering like a bunch of questions that women were asking about like their avatars and what should they do and stuff. And I thought, okay, I'll be contributing. And then one woman said something about she's feeling lost or something. I can't remember what it was, but I commented. Uh, and she's like, I remember you, I was, when I was working at Sam Ash, I'm like, Sam Ash, and I looked it up, I'm like, that's a store in LA, a music store, and I'm like, oh my god, I did meet this woman, she's like, I remember you, and you had such light, and you're such a people person, and that's why I remember you, and this was like six years ago, maybe, when I was in LA with the, the New Zealand girl, and I was talking to like a rock star girl who was working downstairs, and then I went upstairs, I was looking for a microphone or something, and, and I guess I talked to that woman, she's like, oh yeah, that rock star girl, she's like pretty young, and and uh, very talented and so yeah this random woman from a music store for like our five minute call remembers me uh and recognized me and in, in the group so that's cool i make an impact do you remember me